guys, Mac on Tutorials here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to do the reflection effect in Final Cut Pro. So what the reflection effect is, say that we open up Finder and we drag it close enough to our dock. And if you look closely, we can see that the folder is reflecting off of the dock. So that's basically what we're going to do in Final Cut Pro, but with a video. So my video is just the iTunes commercial. <laughs> and you're gonna need a gradient because solid colors don't work as well as a gradient does preferably you're gonna need a gradient that goes from black to white or any kind of gradient you want so I just got this gradient off Google Images just search gradient in Google Images so let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro import your gradient and your video and drag your gradient to track one and then we're gonna go here and right click and add track or control and click and you're gonna drag your video into track 2 and then we're just gonna make this a little bit smaller so everything fits and now we're gonna make our gradient long like our video so just drag that to the end of your video and then we're gonna go ahead and add another track and we're gonna drag the same video in again so now we have two of the same videos in our gradient. So now go ahead and click on track two, the first video, and go ahead and go to motion. And I'm going to scale mine down about 60. So once you scale that video down, go ahead and go to track three, and go ahead and scale it down to the same size. So now we have both of our videos scaled down. You're not going to scale your your gradient down. You're just going to leave it as big as it can be. So now we can we go to our track 2 video and we're just going to drag that up to where we want it to be. So I'm just going to drag it up right about there. And now we're going to go to our track 3 video and we go close enough to the edge until we can see this a little arrow in a circle which means we can rotate it so we're going to rotate it about 180 degrees alright so that's good enough for 180 degrees and what you're going to do you're just going to drag this down and match it up with the second video it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to fix that in a second so it's perfect so after you've done that, go to Effects, Video Filters, Perspective, and then Flop. Now that should flop your video, but it didn't. Sometimes you have to do this two times to flop your video. And sometimes you have to double click it so it shows up into your viewer right here. Go ahead and go back to Effects, Video Filters and then we're going to go to perspective and flop and now as you guys can see the apple is matched up with this one now when you're doing this effect you don't want just the apple you're going to want to see the actual movement of the people in the video so you're going to want to have the people in the video to show up so you know what you're doing so I'm just going to leave the playhead around there so we can see exactly what we're doing so as you guys can see it's kind of a reflection you guys can see that everything's matched up with the guy up here and the guy down here so now what we're gonna do we're gonna make sure we're double clicked on video 3 and we're gonna go up to effects we're gonna go to video filters mat or mate whatever you guys want to call it and we're going to go to mask shape. Now as you can see, the mask shape scaled down our video a lot. So this is where we're going to make precise connections with this video so it looks all nice and square. So we're going to go to filters up here on that tab. And now we have mask shape. We have horizontal scale and vertical scale. So we're going to change both of them. So we're going to change our horizontal scale up until it reaches the end of the box and you're happy with it. So about that should do, 104. And now we're going to change our vertical scale so it goes up. So right about there should be good too. 
So now after you've done that, we have a center here with a crosshair. So just go ahead and click that crosshair and just go to your, the video, the, the track 3 video and go ahead and drag the crosshair down on that video and then drag it to your desired part. Now we're doing this because we're gonna have a fade of the video so let me just go ahead and do this so I can explain to you what we're gonna do. So around there should be good. You want it to be a little bit up. So now what I mean by fade we're gonna have this guy fade so it's gonna be fading and it'll, it'll look like a reflection. So let's do this. Just trust me it's gonna look really good at the end. So once you've done that, we're going to go back up to effects and go to video filters, matte or matte, and then we're going to go to image mask. So go ahead and click that. Of course, you're going to have to have this selected because sometimes it unselects itself. So go back up to effects, video filters, matte mat or matte, wherever you guys want to call it, and we're going to go to image mask. Now the guy is transparent. So now it's starting to do the fade. But we need to put a gradient for the for the guy that's on the reflection. So now we do that by going to our videos tab up here. And then if you guys can see this, it's this little A in a little film strip. Go ahead and click on that and it brings down a drop down. Go to render, then go to gradient. Now our viewer brings up a gradient, but this gradient doesn't match with this one. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to controls, and we're going to change the gradient to do from horizontal from bottom to top. Now this gradient's matching with this one. So go ahead and drag that into your browser. And now go ahead and double click on your video in track 3, and go to filters. And now if you guys can see this, we have a mask and then a question mark with a film strip there. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and drag the gradient we just put into our browser and put it into our mask. Now the guy has a fade of a contrast from going from black down to a white contrast. So that's the fade effect. It's pretty cool. So now what we're going to do now, we're just going to go ahead and go to effects and we're going to go to video filters we're going to go to matte and then we're going to go to mask feather now the feather adds a really nice effect to the video so I like to drag my feather softness up to all the way so it gives it that nice effect and it actually shows the person's full body and it's a nice fade so go ahead and drag it to 100 or wherever you want it and after you've done that, that's practically the last step. And now we can change our vertical scale up here. So we can change it so we can show the, his head a little bit more. It doesn't make that much of a difference. But if you guys want to. And there's a lot more we can do to make this look better. But this is basically how I do it and how a lot of people do it. And this is probably the easiest way to do it. So we're going to go ahead and just render this. And I'll show you guys the final project once it's finished rendering. Alright guys, so it finished rendering. It only took a couple of seconds. So let's go ahead and play it. Hey mama, it's that beat that make you go mama. Get on the floor and move your booty mama. We the blast master blast in the control. We it's a pretty cool effect and it's really easy to do. So guys, that's basically it. I hope this was easy to follow along and it was really easy to do. And it taught you a little bit about these effects that we used and a lot a little bit about Final Cut Pro. So guys, remember to rate, comment and subscribe. And thanks for watching my video.